First of all, congratulations on this series and already getting a season two before it even debuts. How does... Yeah, that was great. That was, that was some yeah. good news, that's for sure. It's, I'm sure as an actor, it's very good news. Yeah, how, yeah it's nice to have job security. <laughs> how does the level of excitement around this series feel? Has it sunken in or do you feel like you're still in your little bubble since it hasn't actually even premiered yet? Yeah, I was just talking to Rosamund about that. It's a, it's a strange feeling. It's coming in waves. Um, it kind of feels like, I guess, having a, I don't have any children, but uh, maybe having a child and, and just, uh, you know, watching it grow to a certain extent and now letting it go to its <laughs> first day of school or something. Um, we're very protective of it. We feel like we've been in a vacuum for a while and now it's slowly starting to get it out. And it kind of feels like everything's hitting fast forward now, which is exciting and fun, uh, scary at times, but uh, we're ready. We've been doing it for a while and with COVID and everything, there's been a lot of obstacles and challenges, but uh, we're very proud of how much everyone has stuck together and, and how it's turned out. So I think we're all ready. What was the whole initial process like? Did you go through a whole audition process? Did you get to meet Rosamond at some point? Like how did, because your relationship especially is so important to the show. Yeah, it was it was very unique. I, I didn't go through an audition process. Um, I had a, a very long chat with Rafe. Um, I'd met him previously, um, I think, doing some sort of test reading years ago for another show, and we crossed paths. And so he remembered me, and, and I think he had me in mind, possibly for Lan. And then uh, it was it was just a process of a few conversations with him, and then all of a sudden I was on a FaceTime with Rosamond. <laughs> <laughs> and of course she's producing the show as well so it was important for her to to talk to me and to meet me because we have such a dynamic relationship in the show and so that turned into about a three-hour conversation about life and all sort of like sorts of like existential things and and religion and career and family and it was really just to get to know and uh, we hit it off a hundred percent and then a few days later it was uh it was mine and uh, so I had a, I was standing by uh, this beautiful lake in Michigan and I got the, I got the word and I, I did a little dance by the lake and I kind of screamed because I wanted it so badly, so, <laughs> so badly I wanted it. And uh, for so many reasons. And uh, that was it. And a, and a few weeks later, my bags were packed and I was headed to the Czech Republic. What was the top reason for you? Was it something about the character? Was it something about the genre? What, what did you feel drawn to? Because it's easy as a viewer to see why it would be so appealing, but sure. what was it like for you? Well, you know, first of all, growing up in the States in a very small town, uh, being Asian American, you know, I grew up sort of watching fantasy shows with you know, with certain people cast in certain roles. And, and, and I just never thought that as I, as I got older and got into acting that I'd, I'd have a chance to play something like Lan, um, to play a, a king or an uncrowned king, um, to speak in an English accent and to, to protect someone as amazing as Rosamond and just to have this incredible role of, of strength and, and honor and loyalty and, with an amazing backstory. And I just, I, I didn't know that it was ever gonna be possible for me to, to, be, uh, to be given a role like this. And when it came true, it was very surreal. Um, a funny story is that I do this kind of vision boarding thing uh, for my career and I'd saved the cover uh, to the eye of the world on my phone in 2011. And I didn't know much about the real time but I just thought I loved the look of the cover and the characters. And I thought that it was something that I would love to do one day. And here I am 10 years later playing Lamb. So you willed it into existence before you even knew you were it's, willing it It's into so existence. crazy. It didn't take me too long to pull it up, but it's true. And I just showed Roz uh, like three weeks ago. I showed her the picture. She couldn't believe it. With a character like this, because he is a bit mysterious in the beginning yeah. and we He's not a man of many words. We only sort of get things out of him when he has to. So what was your way into him for you? Did you read the books? Did you do some other type of research? How did you key into who he is? 
I mean, the wonderful thing about the Wheel of Time is that there's there's so much out there, right? There's so much to to dig into. Um, I did immediately jump into the books, um, and I read up to The Dragon Reborn, and then went back to New Spring because I knew that was really important for the relationship between Land and Moraine and sort of how they began. Um, but what really helped me, it's kind of how I work as an actor, is going from outside in and was just getting in. As soon as I got to Prague, I started rehearsing stunts for this, what is now the winter night action sequence. And it took me a month to get into that. And that was such a wonderful way in to land, how he moves, um, just how skilled he is with that sword. And it just, it really helped inform me when I, you know, it's, when I played Agent Zero in X-Men, um, the first thing I did was was get his boots and walk around this small town in, in Queenstown, uh, New Zealand. So that's I kind of like to work from a physical standpoint. So having that time with the with the stunt guys choreographing this amazing scene was everything to me. And from from then on, I felt very comfortable. What was it like to shoot that whole sequence? Because it- that's such an interesting sequence. It starts with celebration and dance. And I, I was watching it thinking, God, I'd want to, you know, go party in this town. And then all of these horrible creatures show up and gross, grotesque murder happens. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, maybe I, I won't go visit. But what was that like to shoot all of that? I, it seems like it must have been really elaborate. What was most important as far as getting it right? Repetition. Um, I was lucky to have uh, at least a month with the stunt team prior. When they first showed me uh, the breakdown of what we were going to do, the stunt guys, uh, stunt men and women, they come up with sort of a breakdown of what it's going to be. And they shoot a full video on their iPhones and they cut it and they put music to it. So when they showed me that first cut, I thought for the first time in my career, I, I may not be able to do this. This was, it was 150 beats. It was incredibly long, intricate, complex. I mean, there was so much to it. And so it was just repetition over and over and over and getting it right. And then applying that once we got to set there on this, on the amazing Two Rivers set. And uh, we have such an amazing art department here. They created this world for us to work within. And so everything you see in the winter night sequence is real for the most part. I mean, we're reacting to everything from the, from the drops of the snow to the dust to everything. The, the scene where I kind of run and cover Rosamond, that's a real scene. They shot five massive dust cannons and I had to run through the dust and cover her. So it's all practical. And uh, yeah, it just felt very real to answer your question. Uh, yeah, the acting came kind of second. Well, what would you say to tease his journey this season? How much will he be affected and changed by what happens? Land's journey, um, all I can say from an actor's perspective is that it's been the most challenging thing I've ever done in my life uh, because playing someone that is that um, silent, quiet, whatever you may like, stoic, strong, is a man of few words, but the writers have, have really done a wonderful job at, at creating these, these emotional scenes for him as well that the, that the fans can look forward to. They really get to see a side of Land that for me as an actor were scary to try because I know how beloved he is. And when I read the scripts the first time, especially five and, and six, you know, it's, I just thought, how am I going to do this? And, uh, you know, now in hindsight, I, I think we did a, a pretty good job, but uh, it's been a very, very diverse journey with him emotionally. And uh, I can't wait for fans to watch it. Well, it's so epic and impressive, and I appreciate you talking to me about it. I'm excited to see more. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.